Our coverage of events in Egypt where political chaos is erupting. Now, in a statement on Facebook, a senior advisor to Pre President Mohamed Morsi says a military coup is underway. This as tens of thousands of protesters from both sides continue to demonstrate across Cairo. A Muslim Brotherhood official tweeting that tanks are moving through the capital. And in his words, a full military coup is underway. Reuters has reported that the Egyptian army has erected barbed wire barriers around the barracks where President Mohamed Morsi is working. We have seen video from there. An anti-Morsi crowd was outside. Egyptian state media, meanwhile, saying that a statement is going to be made shortly proposing a plan to end the current political crisis. In fact, the Egyptian Armed Forces stating on its official Facebook page that a meeting between Egypt's general command of the armed forces, religious and civic leaders, has in fact ended and a statement will be delivered within an hour. That, again, coming from the Egyptian Armed Forces on its official Facebook page. Uh, Reza Sayer joining me now from Cairo. He's been overlooking Tahrir Square for hours now where the anti-Morsi -Morsi protests continue. Um, yeah, interesting just getting that news there about uh, a statement within an hour, Reza. It's remarkable, Michael, how Facebook and social media is playing such prominent role uh, today. So many critical statements being uh, posted on Facebook and social media from all sides. We have another new statement to tell you about. This time, the armed forces refuting a statement made by a representative of the Muslim Brotherhood on CNN. Earlier this evening, a Jihad uh, Al Haddad on CNN uh, accusing the army of engaging in a coup. He said there's an all out coup underway. He accused military tanks and armored personnel vehicles of encircling the supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood and the demonstration they're having across town in Cairo. He also accused at least one soldier, if I recall, from firing his automatic weapon in the air, and he said one of the supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood was shot. In their statement, the armed forces on Facebook denied that ever happening. He rejected the accusations that the, that the uh, armed forces, any soldiers, were firing their weapons and had shot anyone, and they flatly denied that a coup was underway. And that leads us to a debate that's already starting. What is happening in Egypt tonight? Is this a coup or a revolution? Certainly when you see tanks rolling uh, in the streets, choppers flying up above, the military taking over the state a newspaper, these are signals that this is indeed a coup. However, if you talk to a lot of people, on the ground in Tahrir Square, they reject that. They'll tell you this is not a coup, that this is the revolution of part two. They want to take credit for this achievement. They say that it was people power, their numbers that they came out with that turned the tide and pushed President Morsi uh, out. Uh, however, otherwise, uh, others will tell you that they would not reach a tipping point without the military, the armed forces coming into this political conflict, Michael.